Hello everyone, this is Ming Zhong. Welcome to today's market analysis for the S&P 500 E-minutes futures. That's for the session of 19th of June. In this video, I am going to show you the market recap on the last session plus one potential trade review in the M3 timeframe, which I will cover the entry exits and the rationale behind. And that trade actually happened in the Asian session. And going forward, I will cover the bias, the key levels to pay attention to, and also the potential setup for the session later. So let's just get started. As you can see in this uh, daily chart for the S&P 500, uh, yesterday was another boring and dull day. As you can see, we have a very tight range uh, together with uh, even lower volume compared to the previous day. So I think in general, uh, there is a sign of the lacking of the <clears throat> supply uh, in this little range from 3060 to 3160. So this is a bit of the constructive sign because um, I think uh, if we keep continuing to stay on this uh, environment, then we should be able to see uh, S&P 500 to actually break out of this small range to test a bit higher at the access line at 3180 and eventually to 3230 if we can overcome this uh, 3180 level. So let me get down to one hour and you will see how boring it is uh, in a US session. So the session actually started here. Uh, that's the Asian session with slight reaction, test the swing low, and then followed by uh, rally up in, uh, in the London session, European session and subsequently another reaction. But uh, at the US opening time zone here, 9.30, 9, 9 o'clock, yep. Uh, so you can see that it actually fluctuate or consolidate within a very tight range from like 3.080 to around 3.108. So um, this is another uh, environment that is not really good for day trading. So definitely got no trade uh, in the US session. But uh, I do want to highlight one potential trade happen uh, in the Asian time zone here at around uh, this level because uh, if you recall it in my video yesterday, I do talk about uh, potential uh, either long or short entry near the swing low at 3060 or the swing high near the 3160 level. So this is one potential trade happen in the Asian session here, which I would like you to uh, have a look here. Although I didn't, uh, I, I just missed that uh, trade in the Asian session uh, because I was trading uh, some Malaysian stocks uh, here. So somehow I just missed that uh, trade. Anyway, uh, just would like you to uh, take a look here. So I think this is the time frame here. Yep. So that is the previous session. You can see that you actually uh, have a bit of the uh, grind down. And then during the Tokyo session, uh, we have seen the reaction started. And then we actually have a very uh, uh, close or even, well, not, not really a spring. It's just a, an attempt to spring or just a test of the previous swing low as highlighted in this uh, pink line here. So I have actually highlighted the potential uh, entry here. So if we just uh, use these uh, tools here, long position. So this is potential trade, uh, long trade here. You can see that. Uh, so we have a reaction here. And one thing to pay attention to is actually, you can see that uh, these two candles here, so we have a spike of the volume at the last candle, uh, the hammer light candle here with a high higher volume compared to the previous volume. So it happened actually uh, near the re re support level here. So it actually acted as a test here. And the high effort to push the price down, but uh, look at the result. The result uh, is merely a hammer bar with demand tail and compare it to the previous bar here. So if you take a look at this bar here, the spread is definitely uh, larger and 
think these two candles is well the last candle is actually a larger spread than the prior one but if you compare it this candle to this one uh, 930 candle then definitely you can see that uh, a lot of the effort tried to push the price down but the results uh, was actually a hammer here and with a smaller spread than this uh, candle at the 930 so definitely this suggested that uh, demand was in and at that time i just uh, will, will need to wait for the reversal bar for confirmation which it actually happened at uh, 945 so which i actually uh, circled here so that is the entry right here and i think uh, we can just uh, wait for uh, exit right at the access line at around 3100 or 3105 somewhere around there so i actually highlighted uh, the potential exit here so this is a uh, quite a potential uh trade here uh, if anyone can catch it then definitely it's great with a risk uh, reward to risk ratio of about three so definitely very decent rr all right so that's the trade potential trade review and you can see that uh, during the US session we have a very tight range so if we take a look here you actually uh, trading just in the middle of the slightly larger range uh, so definitely I don't really see any trade and that's why I didn't really have any trade in the US session all right, so let me get down to the current time zone. So what's happening now? I think uh, not much happened since yesterday because if you look at uh, this H1 chart, or pretty much we are still stuck within the range uh, from this little one 3060 to around 3160. But uh, overall, I still have a bias uh, for S&P 500 to actually break this uh, range the little range here from 3060 to 3160 and eventually uh, let me pull out this arrow here so i still hope to uh, maybe you can just uh, fluctuate a little bit and eventually can just uh, break out from this range and to test the excess line or the resistance line at uh, 3180 and if you can overcome it then definitely challenge uh the last week high at 3230 but uh, overall i think it will still uh, consolidate within this uh, bigger range until we see the volatility settle down and there's a time uh, for for the market to decide when it will leave this big trading range from 2930 to around 3230 all right, so the potential trade uh, set up for the later session will be still the same as the previous day or the yesterday uh, video because uh, we are still uh, stuck within this trading range. So it's a range bound trading uh, tactic. Definitely uh, is a very straightforward. So if it happened to somewhere around here, at the support level at 3060 and we see the reversal bar or bounce up from here then definitely i think this could be a long trade otherwise uh, if we see some kind of the rejection near the resistance level then definitely uh, we can initiate a short entry upon a rejection around this uh, level so it's pretty simple with this kind of the range trading just uh, look to trade on a rejection or rebound from the support or the resistance level and the immediate uh, resistance level that i'm watching is definitely uh, the swing low and swing high here 3160 is the resistance level subsequently then 3180 and the uh, swing high at 3230 and for immediate support level definitely uh, the swing low 3060 followed by 3000 psychological level plus a bit of the well access line or this uh, up channel support has uh, drawn up in the purple line here and definitely the lowest point which is the swing low here 
So overall, I think um, we are still uh, in a range bound trading environment. Uh, if we look at the daily chart, and I don't think there is anything uh, threatening so far because uh, in order to violate uh, the bullish, long-term bullish case, then definitely we have, uh, of course, a swing low level, 29.30 to break, followed by a maybe somewhere around here, the spring level here around 2800. And even if it fall back to 2630 or 2650, somewhere around here, this uh, support level, as long as it didn't really uh, break this level, then I think we're still um, pretty much in a uptrend and I still uh, stick to my bias for a bullish uh, accumulation uh, from this bottom here. All right, so this is the end of the video. I hope you get something out and find it useful. If you like it, just click like and also hover to my name or picture to follow me. And do remember to subscribe to my channel so that you get instant notification for my future videos. So as usual, if you have any kind of the comments, suggestion, trade ideas you like me to uh, take a look or share with me, feel free to comment it below. I will definitely reply to you. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you.